Buying existing websites is how most pros get an edge in affiliate SEO. It allows you to benefit from someone else's hard work getting a website off the ground and out of the sandbox. In this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways to purchase websites and get awesome deals in the process. Where would you go to purchase affiliate sites? So first we have our marketplaces and some examples of this would be Empire Flippers, FE International, Investors Club, and Flippa. And these are evaluating websites at a model that looks like this. It's basically a 30 to 40x multiplier on monthly profit. Profit, not revenue. So if a website is making $1,000 a month, that website could sell for about $35,000. Websites making $100,000, that could sell for $350,000. Now the thing here is these sites must have a minimum on these marketplaces. They're not gonna bother brokering a deal for a website that's not gonna make them any money. So you're gonna be looking for sites that are making at least $500 a month. And so that at bare minimum, you're looking to spend at least $15,000. One advantage of going with the marketplace is you have a vetting experience. So they're gonna make sure you're not gonna buy a lemon. They're gonna make sure they're gonna vet the seller. They're gonna vet the backlinks. They're gonna make sure you just don't screw yourself in some marketplaces. Now, a cheaper alternative would be just finding deals yourself through Facebook groups. So some example Facebook groups would be uh, the Flipping Websites group and Affiliate SEO Mastermind, that's my group. So what you're looking for here is quote unquote starter sites. These are sites that haven't quite taken off yet. They don't quite have earnings yet. Maybe they have a bunch of content. Maybe they have a good start, but it's just never quite broken through. So because these sites haven't broken through yet, they don't fit the traditional valuation model. So you're pricing these guys based on their potential, how much content they have on them already, and basically just trying to part with the seller, making him feel emotionally okay for the time he put into a project that didn't work out, right? So an example of a website that we purchased recently, we bought it for 1.5K. Uh, it's a nice branded domain, and it's now making $25,000 a month. This is my primary form of starting existing websites, of acquiring websites, is through this, this route. 